please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Express Monorail, our highway in the sky. Hey everybody, welcome to ResortLoop.com. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. And you're here for exciting episode number 58. 58. That's that's in between 57 and 59. Your math skills are undeniably that's, that's, fantastic. That's all I got. I know I you know I w- I wasn't prepared for what the significance of 58 is. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. We're very excited about this show and really we didn't even work about the work on work about oh, on the open. <laughs> man, I I am very excited about this show. We have a an amazing guest coming on here in just a few minutes. We'll be educated on something I know I've wondered about for quite a while. Absolutely. So uh, um, but let's throw some shout outs first, if we could, Tim. I think we need to. Go ahead, Bob. You can start us off. All right. Um, uh, two really uh, um, important shout outs for us. Uh, the, the first one was from uh, our good pal, uh, Becca, who uh, goes by uh, at Princess Becca L on uh, the Twitter uh, she also has a, a really good blog out there. It's uh, princess, princessesandpixiedust.com. And uh, check that out. She, she did a, a very nice uh, review of Resort Loop and uh, was just very kind to us on, on her blog. And we, just, we can't thank you enough, uh, Becca. That was, that was very nice of you. Um, and uh, another one was uh, uh, a new friend on Simply WDW on the Twitter, um, and that's also the website, simplywdw.com, and uh, they also gave us a, a very nice uh, review on their blog. So uh, check those two blogs out. Uh, very kind to us, and, and we want to give them shout-outs and, and try Absolutely. and drive sure. some folks to them because they do have a lot of great information on both of those. Great infor- information, very knowledgeable, uh, and a nice read, I'll be honest. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Then I've got one. I'd like to send this is a, a, a special shout out, Bob. I don't okay. think I don't think we've had a, a shout out to another podcast yet. No, we have not. But Aaron, well, other, other hmm? than our Diz, Diz After Dark guys, oh, Diz but, After Dark, yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, and Mike, and Safari, Safari Mike, yeah, the yeah. Radio Harambe guys. Yeah, we, we've forgotten about him already. Yeah, so. you know. <laughs> <laughs> After it, you embarrassed me on that last show, I'm done. <laughs> it was a ha- it was a half episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Aaron Rittmaster and the guys over at uh, Dids Dads podcast gave us some, gave, gave us some nice words over there. So if you're not listening to Dids Dads, uh, check them out over there. I've been listening to them for quite a while now. So yeah, that's a, it's a good show. It is a good it's show. Good lots good. and lots of good information over there. Very knowledgeable guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciated that. That was very nice yes. of you. Um, now we have a special guest. Let's get into this show. We're going to get get right into it. This this is very exciting because Tim, I don't know if you know this, but we have the original Looper. He's the one to blame. <laughs> no, no, thank. Remember thank. we talked about that. Oh. Thank. Oh. He's the one that. Thank. He is fantastic. Yes, and you say I'm the negative one. No, <laughs> we kid because we love. We would very much like to uh, introduce you all to our, our good friend, Joe Quattrochi. Hey, Joe. Are welcome. We... Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, what's up, Loopers? <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, now, first off, before we get started, have we been pronouncing your, your last name correctly? You have been. You have been. Oh. So I, 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 give you, I give you guys credit. Even when I graduated college, didn't even spell uh, uh, pronounce my name right. So uh, <laughs> you, guys are doing a, you guys are doing a great job. I appreciate it. Uh, well, thanks, Joe. Uh, so the reason we've got Joe on, other than to thank him so much for uh, Looper Nation, uh, which is caught on like wildfire out there. Super duper loopers. Oh, <laughs> the looper <laughs> love. <laughs> I do like the super duper uh, looper. That's pretty good. Oh, my gosh. Well, you will forever be known as the original looper. So uh, at least in our hearts. That's right. Oh, I appreciate that, guys. <laughs> so, uh, but you are, you are uh, starting an adventure that uh, Tim and I can only uh, dream about. And uh, why don't you tell everybody what it ex- is exactly you're going to be doing here in uh, the month of January. Well, guys, um, I'm sure there are other loopers out there that will probably be participating uh, in this great event as myself, but I'm uh, training right now for the 2014 Walt Disney World Marathon. Wow. I am envious. <laughs> that is brave. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best, but uh, I'm gonna give now, it a shot. Now, are you a, a normally a runner? Did you run in college or high school no, or something like that? No, or? I actually I started last year. Um, just wanted to do something different for some exercise and uh, got into a couple half marathons and uh, did pretty well and got the bug and uh, always wanted. I always heard about the marathon. You know, every time I went down, I heard people running it and this and that and. Uh, I was like, I always want to do that one day. And uh, after, you know, getting into the running last year and, and did pretty well in my two half marathons, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sign up for it. And uh, here I am. I'm in the second week of my training already and uh, for January. So it's uh, it's coming quick, but I'm really looking forward to it. Now, where where exactly, um, for those folks that don't know, where exactly are you going to be running? The rate, it's 26.2 miles. This is just for the marathon itself. There are other races that weekend. Um, but the marathon, I believe, it starts in the Epcot Center parking lot. And uh, it runs essentially by up uh, up to the Transportation and Ticket Center, uh, past the Contemporary, through the Magic Kingdom, uh, past the Floridian, through the racetrack, through the Walt Disney World Speedway. And then it makes its way down uh, to the, through the back of the Animal Kingdom, I believe, which would make Safari Mike happy. <laughs> and then uh, eventually makes its way uh, through the studios and it weaves in and out of uh, Disney's Wild World of Sports. Uh, and then eventually uh, you run through World Showcase uh, at Epcot and then you eventually finish uh, back at the Epcot Center parking lot. So that's it. That's the course uh, very briefly. Um, it's it's quite long, though. But, uh, you know, as much as we're all Disney fans, um, as long as you get in the zone and just kind of like put on some good music, possibly put on the resort loop while you're running and uh hey, just taking just just taking the <laughs> views and just uh just take it one mile at a time but it should be a lot of fun and uh from what i've read on some of the other message boards and some videos on youtube it looks like a lot of people have a lot of fun with it so i'm definitely uh definitely looking forward to it yeah it's not your uh it's not your hardcore uh, necessarily your hardcore marathon like a boston marathon or no. a marathon would be no, it, it, it looks pretty – everybody says the course is very flat. Um, so if people are still looking at maybe possibly running it, it's not hilly. Um, from the research I've done, the only hills are really the overpasses on the local freeways inside the uh, inside the, the resort itself. But uh, it's it's a pretty flat course from what I've, what I've been told. Now, I, I uh, looked into when, when I started uh, – actually, when you contacted us and said, hey, I'm going to be running in this thing – uh, I thought, you know what, that'd be great. I, I would like to come down and run in it as well, but it's already sold out. Yeah, I know um, this year they added another, I think they added the 5K, I believe. So there's four races. There's the 5K, that's on Thursday, the 10K on Friday, the half marathon on Saturday, and the uh, full marathon on Sunday. So I believe most of them are sold out. I know the 5K and the 10K are sold out, and I believe the full is sold out. I'd have to double check the Run Disney website, but they sell out pretty quick. Um, I know when I signed up, um, I was ready at 10 a.m. I forgot the day it was, but I was ready to go. And uh, the website was extremely slow. A lot of people were uh, were registering right at 10 a.m. And by the end of the day, it, it was probably over half full. I mean, after the first day of registration. So it's definitely wow. uh, people's uh, bucket list if they're runners or, or wannabe runners. So. Now they have the uh, they have the characters out and all of that stuff throughout the uh, uh, course, right? From, from what from what I've read online and some of the videos I've seen, I heard that if you're not into uh, getting a good time, as some runners are, I heard there's characters everywhere, there's cast members all over the place, and they'd be more than happy to stop and you know, they'll take your picture with the characters while you're running and uh, a lot of fun things uh, like that going on. So if you're not into a good time, you just want to. Have a good time and get your picture taken everywhere. I've heard that you know you, that's one thing you could definitely do. Now, will you be uh, tweeting during your race? If you guys like me to, I could do uh, resortloop.com updates as I'm uh, running through the parks. But uh, it, that might be a possibility. It sounds like a could be a good time if uh, to do that. Well, I think if you're up for it, we don't want to slow you down or you know break your well, uh, concentration. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be slowing myself down after like mile 15 or whatever I'm at. So I'm sure. <laughs> <running>. <laughs> Uh, what now? What are the requirements to run in this? Now I know a lot of a lot of marathons. You're required to run uh, a certain distance in a certain amount of time because they don't want people obviously running, you know, eight hours in a uh, you know a five k. So what what are the requirements? Yeah, I know. I believe that they um, 
what they do is when you register to run, if you have run a full or half marathon before, you give them like proof of your last time. So essentially, and that's how they divide up how people start is by, they call them corrals. And uh, I guess the faster runners go up front and the slower runners to the back. And if you've never run a marathon before, um, the only requirement is I believe is that you just sign up, you, you pay your fee to, to run Disney. And I guess they put you probably in the last corral or they'll put you in the corral that you say, I believe I could run, you know, the, the you know, run the marathon in you know five hours or five and a half hours there is a cutoff of when they reopen um the course to everybody i, I don't know that number off the top of my head right now uh, but there is a cutoff where if if you're slower than that they'll kind of like push you along or they might pick you up and bring you to a spot because they do have to open up the parks uh, and the local roads the marathon does start very early in the morning um so they, they do have to they can't have people out there running all day are you uh, are you planning on going down with anybody? Um, I, I'm actually going out with my family. Um, my uh, fiance is coming down, as well as uh, my parents are coming down, and uh, they're they're gonna watch, and uh, maybe hopefully not pick me up from the hospital if all goes <laughs> well. <laughs> but uh, they're coming down to watch, and then I just found out that uh, some old friends from college that I haven't spoken to in a while, but I've connected with on Facebook, that they're also gonna be down there. So there'll be uh, some other people that I haven't seen in a while, they'll be running the race as well. So yeah, I'll be down there with my family and uh, my fiance, and uh, hopefully run into some old friends as well down there. That sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, guys. So. What, uh, what are you looking forward to most in, in, as far as, I mean, obviously you're going to Walt Disney World. So, I mean, I, right there, that's, that's a blast. But what are you looking forward to with the race? I'm just looking forward to just being like just running through the parks and just seeing everybody in the Magic Kingdom lined up and cheering me on. And if you've never run a race before, um, when you have like a crowd watching you, it definitely motivates you. It definitely um, just energize you to keep going and keep pushing. And even these are people that you don't even know. And they're just, they're just saying, come on, you can do it. Keep going. And just not only is that so gratifying, but just to do that in Disney in a place that we all love. Um, somebody like I've been there 20 something times. I mean, it's just going to be something that I've always wanted to do. And essentially not to sound kind of cliche, but it's going to be kind of like a dream come true just to actually run this marathon. I've always talked about and actually say, you know, what? I, I finally I finally did. I finally ran my first marathon and I did it in Walt Disney World. So I'm definitely uh, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I've heard that the finish line just to hang around the finish line around at the finish line is very emotional because you see all these people where you know, the dreams have come true. All the train has paid off. Yep. Besides the training, I'm sure it's they're all collapsing at the same time. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> please catch me. But, uh, I, I'm sure I'm going to feel the same way. Um, you know, it's something you've trained for, you know, four or five months or whatever your skill level is and out there running five days a week, you know, your long runs and your short runs and, um, just, you know, finally culminating to, uh, you know, running in one of the places you love the most. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's good. I'm, I'm, I can't describe the feeling, but I'm sure, you know, I'll let you guys know what I feel when I cross the finish line. So. Now, uh, how long are you planning on staying down there? You're obviously going to get down there, um, I'm hoping anyway, a couple of days ahead of time. And then are you staying after the race or are you coming home? Or Yeah, yeah we're, we're actually coming in the way it worked out with my work schedule, my family's work schedule and stuff is we're actually getting down there on Friday because um, you have to pick up your packet before the race. Um, so I have to pick my packet up at least before, I mean, before Sunday. So on Saturday, I have to pick up my packet. So we're staying Friday. Um, we get in Friday night late. And uh, well, unfortunately, we're staying off property, um, but uh, we have a timeshare next door to, to the Animal Kingdom, so we're staying there. Uh, yeah, I'd love to stay on property, but you know, it's the way it works out. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, we're staying till Thursday. And uh, unfortunately, Bob, um, Monday night after the marathon, I do have reservations at Ohana, and I will let you know. Oh. After my post marathon gorging. See, Bob, it can I, be I done. Let you know, I will take pictures and tweet them at you and let you know how it goes. <laughs> I, I made my six months out. Uh, my Ohio reservations at 6 a.m. So <laughs> please do. I don't, mean, I don't mean to rub it in, Bob. I'm sorry. <laughs> please do. You know what? And for everybody, anybody that goes to Ohana, send me a picture because that's about the only way I'm getting into that joint is through <laughs> living vicariously through you guys. So that, that is that probably is a, the happiest place on earth is Ohana. It has to be. That's what I hear. <laughs> it is fantastic. Like I said, you could hear stretch marks forming. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Joe, you had you had come up with an idea. You you want to ask if any other uh, of the loopers are going to be down there. Is is that right? 
Yeah, I, you know, when I was, I was listening to episode 54 um, while I was away on a business this past week and uh, in a car. I always thank you guys for that. And uh, I didn't realize you guys had said that there was a lot of other loopers out there that were Run Disney fans. And uh, I was like, you know, we should probably come up with some kind of like uh, Run Disney team. I mean, a uh, resort loop uh, running team. And uh, just a way we could all get together. It was like a resort loop community and go you know, share ideas. Like, this is going to be my first uh, my first time down for the marathon. So if there's anybody else who listens to the show out there, you know, if they have any tips for me or for anybody else, you know, it's a way we could share, you know, tips and possibly meet up when we're down there or uh, share photos from the weekend and, uh, you know, just anything like that. Just, uh, you know, possibly do a Facebook page or something where we could uh, all meet and congregate and, I don't know, just, just share ideas. I mean, I think that would be a, a great idea. I mean, maybe I could learn something and we could maybe help out somebody else who uh, has never done this before. I love the idea. So do I. I've uh, heard that the running community is very uh, supportive of each other. So what we're asking is for all of you guys to uh, to help Joe out, give him give him your tips. If you've already been down there, you've already run, run the race, or if it's going to be your first time as well, let us know. Either either send us an email, um, send us a message, a direct message on on our Twitter. Um, Tim, you you've got the uh, announcement uh, for our new uh, Looper email page. Yes, on the has, website. Yes, and the new the Looper website. phone number. And the Looper phone number. Area code four one four. WDW loop loop. Yes. I like that. You like that? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know because, uh, I, I like the idea. Tim likes the idea. Uh, it's a great idea. Uh, once again, another great idea from Joe. Um, uh, he's our idea, to, man. He, I'm trying guys. <laughs> he is. He is. Um, and, and we're going to, we're going to put, put, try and put, uh, together a little team for, uh, uh, resort loop.com. The, the, uh, looper marathon down at uh, at Walt Disney World. So let us know so we can get this going. Yeah, let us know your interest level cuz we'd like to get this going. If you if you guys want it, we'll uh, we'll get it going. We'll get the ball rolling. Sounds like a great idea. And I appreciate you guys, you know, having me on the show and, you know, getting this idea out there and uh, you know, maybe uh it'll still take off and uh, help a bunch of people. It'll be a lot of fun at the same time. Absolutely. Uh and and again, I am just so devastated that the uh the, that the the race is closed i want to do it so badly yes you know. uh, <laughs> I, I was i had my credit card in my hand <laughs> and i had also Darn. called the golf cart rental place because i was going to drive the whole race by myself <laughs> <laughs> tim had planned on standing uh, with signs uh encouraging me <laughs> that's right we, we looked up signs actually <laughs> earlier some uh, marathon signs that were hilarious that, <laughs> that spectators uh, hold up one one uh, one other question for you, Joe, and and, sure. and uh, full disclosure here, you you got to be honest with us. Um, you're not wearing like a tutu or any of that stuff, like no. <laughs> some of these run Disney marathons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I'm gonna try. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for the loop, uh, the new resort loop wear to come out. So maybe I'll uh, don one of your shirts as I'm running through uh, the park. Give you guys a little uh, little little free press there. I love it. Ooh. I like it. That's right. People are going, where'd you get that shirt? Be like, what's, <laughs> what's resortloop.com? Like, well, let me tell you, as what? we're running at mile 17. <laughs> That's right. Why are the colors running? That's, that was... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my That's goodness. awesome. No tutu, though. No tutu, guys. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> so I should okay. order an official resortloop.com uh, tutu? <laughs> you yeah, might okay. lose listeners if I start running an ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, it just we we have been looking uh, at all the run Disney stuff, and uh, boy, they they just seem to have such a good time running in that. And uh, I really am I really am uh, envious that you're able to do that. Um, I know I don't have not yet anyway. I don't have the stamina or the time to be able to run in a in even a half marathon or a five k yet. But I'm getting there. I tell you, isn't looking at all this stuff like inspiring and kind of makes you want to get out there and see what would happen? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Bob, so, you, could, you could do it, Bob. <laughs> I'm shooting for, I am, I will be honest, I am going to shoot for the uh, Wine and Dine Half Marathon. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm, don't, don't, don't hold me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Bob just wants to eat afterwards at Epcot. Uh, I <laughs> oh, wanna, that's true, I, too. <laughs> I want to be able to go to Ohana. Uh, <laughs> I told Bob I couldn't even do the whole thing on a Segway because I'd have to stand the whole time. <laughs> I'd have to use a golf cart. Oh, my gosh. Oh my goodness! Anything you want to bring up, Joe? Yeah, anything no, got, I mean, you got, Joe? I mean, you got you guys are. I mean, you guys have been great. I mean, I just uh, 
you know, I, I've covered every point. I mean, I'm just happy to be on the show and you guys just to share uh, my experience with everybody, all the other loopers out there. And, uh, you know, just thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope to, uh, you know, report back and let you know my experiences were. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on. I think maybe we need to have you on maybe at least one more time before the uh, marathon, then, of course, after the marathon. I'll give you guys a progress report. Fantastic. I like it. Great. Excellent. I love it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate Uh, everything. You guys guys do a great job with the show, and I just want to say a shout-out to all the other loopers out there, and, uh, you know, thanks again. Joe, what's your handle on Twitter in case anybody wants to follow you? Sure. I'm at Joe Quatt, so it's J-O-E-Q-U-A-T-T. you can follow me on there. I tweet about all things sports and Disney and NASCAR and the Jets and you name it. I tweet about it. So, excellent. Very, we're very gonna nice. have to we're gonna have to hashtag him original looper. I like it. That will be his official <laughs> hashtag. Yes. There you go. All <laughs> My right. My mother would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably going. You're a what? What? <laughs> and I also finished a half marathon or a whole marathon. A marathon. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Joe, thanks so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all of your uh, hard work and and starting the whole Looper Nation. Uh, uh, It it is wonderful, and we really appreciate you. Thanks so much. Guys, it was my my pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, thanks, Joe. Well, that's all I got, Tim. That's all I got as well. Um, And once again, if you're interested in this whole Run Disney thing and the possibility of a uh, uh, resortloop.com running team, uh, please drop us a line somewhere on Facebook or Twitter. I'm on Twitter, Resort Loop Tim, or our website, resortloop.com. And I'm uh, uh, Resort Loop Bob on Twitter. And uh, don't forget uh, for uh, Facebook forward slash Resort Loop. And uh, if we get enough interest, we will absolutely uh, put together a little bit of uh, uh, a special segment either on our Facebook page or start a new Facebook page or uh, or something. We'll get we'll get everybody together so that uh, there's a way that everybody in the uh, Run Disney community can. Uh, can discuss this and help Joe, especially uh, being this is his first uh, Disney marathon. So yes, the community uh, is growing. Please rate us on iTunes and uh, where's that other place they listen to? Oh, us? the Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher. Stitcher. And don't forget our new phone number. What is it, Bob? Four one four WDW Loop. Very good. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you I very remembered. much. You did. <laughs> You can be taught. (laughs) Anyway, this has been ResortLoop.com, your gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. Poor Bob. I know. He mutes me most of the time when I go on my You'll be quiet. Oh, oh, yeah. (laughs) All right.